hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been on today's video we are going to show you how to use a um, app map or let's say agis for georeferencing you know we've had a um, series of um, videos using um, qgis using agis pro and we want to use what agis or let's say app map right good so um the first thing now is that let's see let's try to set the crs of this layer so you right click on that layer then you come down to properties good so we'd like to use them um, a geographic coordinate reference system so we come down to world and then we search for the rgs 1984 right good so we use them w on the keyboard so that uh, we can just um, see or let's say sort to what to wgs right good so we are using WGS 1984 and that's what we want to use as what the layer CRS, right? Good. The next thing is now let's do folder connection. So you right click on folders connection and then you see what connect to folder. Good. So you navigate to the folder where you had them um, stored your what your data and then you connect to that folder, right? Good. So now let's um, open up that folder here yeah, and then we can easily what drag and drop what the image we want to do reference or let's say the raster data right good now unknown spatial reference is likely the following data sources are you added are what missing spatial reference because that's what we want to do right good so we click on ok basically we've actually what imported or let's say yeah we've imported the raster data we want to do reference and the next thing is for us to start what the do referencing now we have the georeferencer here. Yeah. Now under the georeferencer, as you can see, we have the image we want to georeference, right? Good. And we have the what? We have the tools that we are going to use for the georeferencing. So without wasting much time, we have what geographic information on the map. You know, there are some maps that might likely not have these um, coordinates which you have seen displayed there. So we can decide to use what image to image what georeference, right? Good. However, since these ones have what? the coordinates here we can use the coordinate for what did you reference it good so um we have this tool to use add control points right good so we click on add control points then we have what this plus sign that will now help us to add the control point so we take it to the intersection of this point then we just click and then we right click so we have what impute x and y coordinates then we have what impute dms of what latter and long right good so now since our coordinates are not x and y but lat and long we can just say impute dms of lat and long right good so now the first thing is for the longitude the longitude is actually what the eastern so we have what um, three degrees zero minutes and then we have what zero zero seconds right good then it's actually on the east then the other one is what eight degrees so we have what eight then we have um zero zero and then we also have what zero zero seconds right good and this is on the north right so we just click on ok then we move to the other edge then we click on this intersection possibly we right click impute dms right good then we have um, a latitude of sorry longitude of what four degrees 30 minutes then we have what zero zero seconds right then we have um, eight degrees and then zero zero minutes and zero zero seconds right good so we click on ok we can still zoom to layer to bring it to the workspace so we've actually imputed two let's see this other one so you can see the process is actually very simple when you are able to just um, zoom in to lose your points of interest and then um, provide the coordinates either in dms or in what in lat and long right good so we have four degrees so you can now see that the coordinates are actually getting closer to what they are supposed to be because we've actually aligned it by two points now the longitude coordinates we are going to impute here is four degrees 30 minutes right good however the second still off so we just you know modify the seconds then this other latitude coordinate is actually seven degrees and we have what six six degrees 59 minutes which actually very very close to our point right good so we make this what zero zero and then we say okay then the next part of the zoom to layer let's use this 
as the last point so impute DMS so instead of 3 we have 259 so we can just change it to what to 3 0 0 and then 0 0 then instead of 7 we have 659 so we can still change this to 7 0 0 and zero. this can help you see that yes the referencing process that you are actually carrying out is is in line right so we have used four coordinates yeah four control points as it is being called here we have used four control points to do the georeferencing of this our image so depending on what you have you can use what the as much as you want and then we've actually used them um, geographic if you have them um, some other coordinates like these other projected coordinates that you want to use you can see what you can still use them or whatever was specified for you to use so i haven't done this let's come down to this georeferencer and then we click on update georeferencing right good however you can still rectify and then this um auto adjust simply means that as you are imputing those control points it is what it is um updating or it is adjusting the the map to the actual point right but remember when we imputed the first and the second we didn't see the topo map on our screen right we had to zoom to layer which means that it has been moved to its actual position in space its actual spatial position so when this auto adjust is on you have that um, benefit so that you know the progress you have made so far during what the georeferencing right good now there is also something to note the transformation type i remember when we are working on um, qgis we used to set the transformation type before we export it now first order polynomial one yeah first order polynomial is being what is being selected automatically yeah the second order and the third order are not um, are not selected because they are dependent on the number of control points that you've used for the second order you need at least six control points for the third order you need at least what ten control points right good so since we have used um four which is at least three we have been able to use the first order polynomial for this what for this um, georeferencing so i haven't seen all of those let's click on update georeferencing I haven't updated the georeferencing we can decide to just um, remove this topo map that we have to reference and then we can still decide to what drag and drop just to confirm however when you remember the last time we tried to import this um, topo map to the workspace there was this um, special error message that is telling us that our uh, topo map does not have any special reference something like that right good now because it has a special reference now we can't find that what we didn't find that error message and how do we confirm that since it was still in the inside the same folder and this time around did not give that error how do we confirm that yes the special um, reference is been attached to it so when you are done your referencing in agis there are extra files or let's say there are files that are created for your special data or let's say the special information you use for the georeferencing so when you're trying to send or maybe share your um georeferenced image or your georeferenced map you don't send only the jpeg or maybe whatever image format you attach those other files to it so those other files alongside your jpeg or maybe your raster data will now bring in the georeferencing or let's say we now confirm the georeferencing right good so this is the folder where we've saved what the georeference data and you can see these other two extra files alongside what the the topo map that we have to reference so when you're sharing the data it's best what you share these three files so these three files will now help you to or maybe the receiver to have the special attribute of this what of this image right good now for us to still confirm our georeferencing we can decide to overlay a base map so close to this um, add data let's use drop down and then add base map so for the base map let's use them um, open street map good so we have what open street map as our base map and you can see how the topo map rightly overlays on what on the base map right good so there's a settlement there a shiny there's another one a right good let's see this one here good 
you can see a jigbo there and then if we put this off and on you can also see a jigbo here so this shows that yes the toko map has been what has been rightly georeferenced using what um arcgis right good so we've shown you how to use qgis arcgis pro and now um arcgis to carry out um, the same georeferencing exercise so um, thanks for coming to class and um, we believe we've provided solution to this particular solving problem we are going to see you on the next video. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a nice time. Bye.